What is going on, guys? Listen, <clears throat> I've got some explosive audio that I'm going to play for you today, and we're going to listen to it in its entirety. Now, I'm going to preface this by telling you that I heard this probably six months ago. You guys have asked me for a long time, why am I supportive of Ben Armstrong? Why? When all of the information came out, though, Ben had a girlfriend. Oh, no. Uh, when Ben was mean. Oh, when Ben, um, like, I, I, don't, I don't know, what was it? Um, what, 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 what was it that, that Tricky Dicky, uh, Sticky Nicky, whatever his fucking name was, that he said, oh, he touched me on my ha 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 ha. Uh, and it was unfounded, you know, why did I stand by Ben? Because I knew what was happening. I knew what was going on. I knew that there were these scumbag, dirtbag, heathen, trash bag people that were literally trying to steal a company, right? Uh, so I'm going to play you an audio, but I'm going to play you an audio with some edited video clips. You guys are going to love this. So... If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified. If you didn't make any, by the way, hit pause right now. Grab yourself some popcorn. If you have popcorn, get yourself an edible and pause this thing for 30 minutes to an hour or whatever amount of time you need. Or bowl up, nug up. I don't know. I don't know what people say anymore. I'm like, I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not hip to the lingo, if you will. But uh, guys, oh man, this is going to get wild. Uh, millions, millions of dollars were stolen from people. And you know who stole them? Rewind just a minute. Go back to my last video. Not the last one. The second one. Ah, the first one with the lady frame. You know, the tiny kid. The, the, by the way, George. Cryptos are us. We're all George. Well, you're George. I'm not George. I'm not. I'm Bleeves. But I could be George. $25,000, I'll fight Lady Frame and Tricky Nicky, the Civil War vet, at the same time. You can even throw one of the other guys in at the same time. I don't give a shit. $25,000, it's a done deal. Let's just, let's, just, let's just see what happens, right? All right, guys, you've been warned. By the way, I'm not going to say anything while this goes on. I'm going to digest it one more time uh, while you have. I've probably listened to this thing 10 times in the last six months. But now you're going to hear it. This might be for the first time. Okay, this all thing will make me call man about this. Wait, 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 what, 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 does Justin not have all the money? Where is the money? Man, the, they Justin have it in have fucking money. the boobio. They have it in the fucking company, in the fucking the family team, and all that other shit they've been spending it on. Well, they should send it back, and then we'll just replace whatever's been gone. There hasn't been that much to say. Uh, uh, before we go any further, I, I said I wasn't going to interrupt. I'm going to interrupt. Did, did Larry the disabled guy just say, well, he done spent it all up? Now... For some of you, you may not understand a word that this guy's saying. So I'm going to rewind this just a little bit so you guys can digest that one more time. Uh, if I feel you need a translation, you know, we're going to try. One more time. Okay, this all thing will make me calm down about this. Wait, 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 what? Does Justin not have all the money? Where is the money? Man, the, they Justin have, have money. The they have it in the fucking company, in the fucking the team, and all that other shit they've been spending it on. Well, they should send it back, and then we'll just replace whatever's been gone. There hasn't been that much that's been sent out of it. $100,000, $200,000, a million dollars? We can pay all that back. That's fine. But they're going to want the by the way, we can pay that back because this was happening, for those of you that are catching up right now, this was happening, I apologize for, for doing this again, but this was all happening when Ben thought that there was an amicable fix for this situation, where he understood that they were trying to get rid of him because they had uh, some not nefarious ulterior mode. Not that they were dirtbag, scumbag, thieves, you know, trash. So let me continue money now is it either the money now or the video okay, well we have we have almost all that well, he you need to find out from justin how much money he has that's what you need to find out you need to find out how much money justin because they shouldn't have been spending a lot of that money they haven't done they should all still be there like 90 percent of it should be there 90 percent of that money should and if that money they should put an egg on my reputation i mean i brought people in here that i have well Carl, i'm trying to tell you how you don't do that i'm trying to tell you how you don't do that it it's by not disrespecting me. The guy that admits, the guy that admits, been on shit boy crypto, just own up EMA, bashing something that you made them invest in, bro. Come on, bro. That's, come on. You serious? I but it can, it, can, it can all be walked uh, In case you don't know, this is called a shakedown. We started this conversation off with 
Larry the disabled guy saying, <laughs> and then Ben said, Well, what happened to all the money? Justin has all the money. And then uh, he says, Y'all spent it. And, and then Ben said, We can get it all back. We, we you know, we, we, we can take care of this. Ben at this point is thinking that he's going to get his company back. That he's thinking that these guys are just going to go gently into that good night, which they were not going to. So now he's talking about he's trying to hustle Ben. He's trying to hustle Ben to give him millions of dollars to pay back the people that Justin Williams allegedly screwed over. Investors that Larry Disabled Guy brought. I shouldn't call him Larry Disabled Guy. It's not really his name. Of course, Carlos is not really his name either. So what the fuck are we doing here? You know what I mean? Let's move on. Let's keep going. It can all be walked back. But that's the thing. They want, they want to see that now. They want their money. Right now. Okay, well, then I, didn't, I just told you, Justin, to Justin has the money then. Like if Justin stole the money, then what you going to do, Ben Armstrong? How you going to make it, nigga, nigga, this right? Or whatever the fuck he says. Let's keep going. Find out how much he has. No, I'm saying if they don't have the money, then what I'm saying? There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. I'm telling you, if they don't, we say hypothetical. If they don't, how, I'm just saying, if they don't, how do we set aside okay. my people right now? He should. He should have. Listen, he should have ninety percent of that money. He should have ninety percent of it at least. And when I get the company back, the state deal resumes, and then we get two hundred fifty thousand dollars a week again, or thereabouts, closely. Okay. And once that happens. Then, then we can, however much it's short, we can just send that. It will all be over in two weeks, okay? But, but the thing is, is if Justin, if Justin has can ruin those funds, if he, if he's burned through those funds, then that tells you this is Justin's fault. Justin was never going to be successful if he burned through a, a million dollars. That means he was just spending the money. Justin's the one. Justin's the one that's accountable for this money, not me. I've never seen it. Justin's the one accountable for it. And I can walk the statement back. And you know what I can also do? I can become the CEO of Vumio. And if I become a CEO of Vumio, guess what? Go, it, it, it goes the other way. This will actually end up being a fantastic thing. There's no way that this can be fucked up as long as I'm allowed to get back involved in it. So so, so we have three options. Ben, 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 I think, if I'm not mistaken, maybe just probably have about six, seven hundred, eight hundred thousand dollars, maybe somewhere around the area. Okay. Oh, Justin's right there, isn't he? Justin's listening. Okay. Hey, Justin. He's not right here. No, he's not right there. He's just letting me know exactly how much he might be able to come up with in order to make this right. You know, if Ben could just give them just a little bit more money. Now, mind you, the original investment on this. Let me get full screen here for a second here. The original investment into Vumio was a total of $3 million, of which Ben put up $750,000 of his own money. Again, to Justin. Now, Ben, at this point, considers that money to be gone, that he just got hosed and he got screwed. But Larry the Disabled, Carly, Carly only whatever the fuck his name is, uh, thinks that uh, he can shake down Ben and get the rest of the millions of dollars that Justin has stolen back. He, that's what he thinks at this point, right? Uh, and then Ben is, said, you know, if I can just get my company back, then, you know, we've got a stake deal. We've got, for, you know, I think it was 14, 15 months, whatever the a period of time it was, you know, they, they've got this, this enormous deal. They can figure it out. Now, payroll, $250,000 a month on the company at the time. Remember, we got this in the testimony uh, and it is now not even close to that, but it was pretty high, near 200,000, 250,000. So there was a lot of capital that was still left on the table that could still be happening. And Ben is thinking at this point that he's going to get this back, that these guys are realizing they're a bunch of idiots because they've lost the, they've, they've lost their deals. They've lost all this stuff. Um, and, and now the money's not coming through like it was before. So, you know, Ben's thinking these guys cannot be idiots. They cannot be total loser idiots that think that they're going to make this company thrive at the current level. Well, it didn't thrive at the current level because payroll, the $200,000 payroll is now, uh, I think, less than $70,000 for, for a month. And people took pay cuts. I mean, you know, Lady Frame's in charge, but he doesn't have any clue about how much things are like, Jesus, what do you expect me to know? What's going on with my company that I just stole? That's ridiculous. Like, who would know? Uh, and by the way, there's only one CEO. There's only one uh, uh, person that's involved in the real estate companies. And you know what he said 
about how much was being pulled in from the real estate company. Dah, I don't know. I would have to see. I have no idea what's going on over there. Uh, my wife pays rent to me, but I don't know how much it is. George, I can't even tell you, George. You know what I mean? Also, uh, there's a debt, I believe, for several million dollars to one of Ben's companies. So the wild shit here happening, okay? So as we continue to go through this, remember all those little factors that we had, and uh, let's kick us back into gear. He's yeah, not right here. I, I know. I know. I know. He's Tim's not right here. About how, how you have me on speaker in front of everybody. No, no, he's not. He's not right here. I'm right. Well, Tim's the only right that that When I called, when I called, when I sent, when I sent the text out last night, that's what the amount that this shit had. Okay. I sent text to UNT did last night. This, last night, when I asked about my money last night, I sent to UNT. They have, they have six, seven, or eight hundred thousand dollars. That's a big difference. That's yeah, what they say. Between six, eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred. Okay. And how much? How much? How much did your people invest? A million. Yeah, about a million plus the money. Okay. Plus, plus then that's, then then that's easy. That, like I said, one or, one or two weeks, one or two weeks of the stake money will have that all paid off. If they have six to eight hundred thousand, one or two weeks of stake money would have it paid off, right? Or, or so that's what we're sitting here talking about right now. And I think the important thing is that we now know thieves, thieves. Listen, you heard the word. Now, Tricky Nikki, Demicky, whatever his fucking name is. Um the the head of content creation imagine that you listen to this you hear that the person who's in charge of one of the companies it's not really in your building but it's in your building but he's not really on the payroll um imagine that that guy and you sided you sided with these turd burglars okay you sided with these people right you sided with the lady frame uh, you, you sided with tricky Carly, Carly, Elios, the Diaz, may, maybe Smith, whatever, you know, the prison, the felon, you know, what I'm talking about. And then you got Jiggity Justy. I, I don't know. I don't know what he goes by. Um, uh, Vumio, Vumio CEO. Wait a minute. There's no goddamn Vumio. There's no goddamn Vumio. It never launched, never did anything, but these guys put in all of this money. Okay. All of this stuff happens. Right. And. Uh, and this Civil War vet reenactor, he says, ah, that's the people I want to be with. That's the guys that are doing it right. <laughs> or whatever he says. I just assume he talks like that at this point. Uh, decided that those were the people. And there were other people there that did the same thing. And they know this. They know that criminals are there. Now, here's the best part. Here's the best part. Let me take you back. I can't do a reversal thing. But if I did, it'd be awesome. Right? But But listen, here's what they do. What they do is they go into a, a, a court hearing, a testimony, right? And, and and Lady Frame goes up on, he goes up there and they say, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God. And he says, I mean, I might. Uh, I'm going to say, uh-huh, a lot. You know what I mean? I'm probably going to talk like this a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, because I just want to, you know. Whatever. I don't know. I didn't hear the testimony. I read, you know what I mean? I read it. I didn't, I didn't hear it. So, uh, but anyway, so he gets up there and what does he say? Who has access to the wallets? And he says, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I think, you know, me <laughs> or, or whatever. I mean, again, I'm just making voices up as I go. Uh, he probably said, I do. And then also, uh, my daddy, uh, and, and then she said, now you're, when you say daddy, do you mean father or do you mean, you know, daddy? And he was like, <laughs> both. <laughs> Do you, see, his name is Tim. And then there's Justin. Justin is fabulous. He's also got access to my wallet. So, I mean, he's like, you know, look, he's not an employee. He doesn't do anything for the company. The company. You know what I mean? But he's got access because he does, you know. He's got access to everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> everything. <laughs> Or something like that. I think that's it. Whatever, whatever, whatever Lady Frame says, I'm sure is the, the, the right thing, right? So guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Is this the wildest shit you've ever heard? Uh, you just heard, you just, you just heard uh, this, this, the, you, you just heard this guy that, um, that stole a Lamborghini, by the way. Uh, and remember, Tim Shedd himself said that was Ben's Lamborghini that this guy stole. And, and by the way, when I say stole, it depends on how you look at it, right? Um, does terroristic threatening qualify as stolen? If you, if you, if you threaten people that, uh, by the way, I'm going to put you under the prison. That's what, that's what he said. And Ben's ex-wife or soon to be ex-wife 
uh, Bethany even said, I took it to mean a threat that he was going after his life. Even she said it. And remember, she doesn't have, she's not motivated to, to help Ben at this point. She's motivated to make sure that her and her kids are taken care of. She has no, she has skin in the game, but she doesn't have the same skin that, that Ben might have. Ben wants to defend himself and clear his name. Uh, Larry, a disabled guy, he just wants to say words correctly. <laughs> Good luck on that. You know what I mean? Woohoo. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Anyway, so guys, give it a listen. This is exactly what happened, right? This is a recorded conversation that Ben authorized and knew was recorded. He recorded it in Georgia. You can record stuff like this and um, I can share it. So um, have fun and make sure, by the way, in closing, that you share this with everybody, that you let everybody know. And then Tricky Nicky and all those dirt bags over there, those heathen scumbags, Justin Williams stole a bunch of money and it was okay. Lady Frame knew he stole a bunch of money, but it was okay. Because, you know, dad or daddy. <laughs> oh, dad or daddy. You know what I mean? I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying. Anyway, so they stuck around. They were like, yeah, this, this is not a bridge too far. But wait, flicking you in the dick is too far. What? 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 Huh? Locker room stuff? That's too much? Stealing? <laughs> that's fine. You know what I mean? So, guys. Have at it. Enjoy this. Make sure you share it with everybody. This is not financial advice, but guess what? I, like a motherfucker, am always right. <laughs> you guys have a good day, and we'll talk to you again soon.